June 1. Better a dry crust eaten in peace than a house filled with feasting and conflict. A wise servant will rule over the master's disgraceful son and will share the inheritance of the master's children. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but the Lord tests the heart. Wrongdoers eagerly listen to gossip. Liars pay close attention to slander. Those who mock the poor insult their maker. Those who rejoice at the misfortune of others will be punished. Grandchildren are the crowning glory of the aged. Parents are the pride of their children. Eloquent words are not fitting for a fool. Even less are lies fitting for a ruler. A bribe is like a lucky charm. Whoever gives one will prosper. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. A single rebuke does more for a person of understanding than a hundred lashes on the back of a fool. Evil people are eager for rebellion, but they will be severely punished. It is safer to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than to confront a fool caught in foolishness. If you repay good with evil, evil will never leave your house. Starting a quarrel is like opening a floodgate, so stop before a dispute breaks out. Acquitting the guilty and condemning the innocent both are detestable to the Lord. It is senseless to pay tuition to educate a fool since he has no heart for learning. A friend is always loyal, and a brother is born to help in time of need. It's poor judgment to guarantee another person's debt or put up security for a friend. Anyone who loves to quarrel loves sin. Anyone who trusts in high walls invites disaster. The crooked heart will not prosper. The lying tongue tumbles into trouble. It is painful to be the parent of a fool. There is no joy for the father of a rebel. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. The wicked take secret bribes to pervert the course of justice. Sensible people keep their eyes glued on wisdom, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. Foolish children bring grief to their father and bitterness to the one who gave them birth. It is wrong to punish the godly for being good or to flog leaders for being honest. A truly wise person uses few words. A person with understanding is even-tempered. Even fools are thought wise when they keep silent. With their mouth shut, they seem intelligent. Unfriendly people care only about themselves. They lash out at common sense. Fools have no interest in understanding. They only want to air their own opinions. Doing wrong leads to disgrace, and scandalous behavior brings contempt. Wise words are like deep waters. Wisdom flows from the wise like a bubbling brook. It is not right to acquit the guilty or deny justice to the innocent. Fools' words get them into constant quarrels. They are asking for a beating. The mouths of fools are their ruin. They trap themselves with their lips. Rumors are dainty morsels that sink deep into one's heart. A lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe. The rich think of their wealth as a strong defense. They imagine it to be a high wall of safety. Haughtiness goes before destruction. Humility precedes honor. Spouting off before listening to the facts is both shameful and foolish. The human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear a crushed spirit? Intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Giving a gift can open doors. It gives access to important people. The first to speak in court sounds right until the cross-examination begins. Flipping a coin can end arguments. It settles disputes between powerful opponents. An offended friend is harder to win back than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with bars. Wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. The man who finds a wife 
finds a treasure, and he receives favor from the Lord. The poor plead for mercy, the rich answer with insults. There are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother. Better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and a fool. Enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. Haste makes mistakes. People ruin their lives by their own foolishness and then are angry at the Lord. Wealth makes many friends. Poverty drives them all away. A false witness will not go unpunished, nor will a liar escape. Many seek favors from a ruler. Everyone is the friend of a person who gives gifts. The relatives of the poor despise them. How much more will their friends avoid them? Though the poor plead with them, their friends are gone. To acquire wisdom is to love oneself. People who cherish understanding will prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished, and a liar will be destroyed. It isn't right for a fool to live in luxury or for a slave to rule over princes. Sensible people control their temper. They earn respect by overlooking wrongs. The king's anger is like a lion's roar, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish child is a calamity to a father. A quarrelsome wife is as annoying as constant dripping. Fathers can give their sons an inheritance of houses and wealth, but only the Lord can give an understanding wife. Lazy people sleep soundly, but idleness leaves them hungry. Keep the commandments and keep your life. Despising them leads to death. If you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord, and He will repay you. Discipline your children while there is hope, otherwise you will ruin their lives. Hot-tempered people must pay the penalty. If you rescue them once, you will have to do it again. Get all the advice and instruction you can so you will be wise the rest of your life. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Loyalty makes a person attractive. It is better to be poor than dishonest. Fear of the Lord leads to life, bringing security and protection from harm. Lazy people take food in their hand, but don't even lift it to their mouth. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded will learn a lesson. If you correct the wise, they will be all the wiser. Children who mistreat their father or chase away their mother are an embarrassment and a public disgrace. If you stop listening to instruction, my child, you will turn your back on knowledge. A corrupt witness makes a mockery of justice. The mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Punishment is made for mockers, and the backs of fools are made to be beaten.